Are you ingesting large amount of data for analysis or looking to simplify the development of event-driven applications? Then stay tuned to learn more about Cloud Pulse Up. In the last episode, we looked at CatOut's asynchronous order processing service with and without Cloud PubSub. We also learned how Cloud PubSub is perfect for such use cases to scale seamlessly for millions of messages. Today, we will consider our CatOut example again, which is a simple case of a workflow application implemented as a set of services connected asynchronously by messages. We will also see how Cloud PubSub helps CatOut expand their application globally. As the name PubSub indicates, Cloud PubSub supports a publisher-subscriber model. A publisher application creates and sends messages to a topic, which is a named resource, and the messages are stored until acknowledged by all subscribers. To receive these messages, a subscriber application creates a subscription to a topic. The subscriber receives a message by either Cloud PubSub pushing them to the subscriber's chosen endpoint or by subscriber pulling them from the service. When a message is acknowledged by the subscriber, it is removed from the subscription backlog and not delivered again. The message itself can contain the payload and optional attributes that describe the payload content. Communication can be one-to-many, also called fan-out, many-to-one or fan-in, and many-to-many which means if subscriber X wants to receive messages from two different publishers A and B, it can be achieved by creating two subscriptions corresponding to the topics for each publisher, which is a many-to-one model. Similarly, if two different applications want to subscribe to the same message from a publisher, then it can be achieved by creating two different subscriptions from the same topic, which is a one-to-many model. Now, remember CatOut? the order processing and delivery service from the last episode? Let's see how PubSub topic and subscriptions would be set up for this asynchronous functionality. The order service sends the messages to PubSub topic where they get stored. The packaging and notification service subscribe to these messages through the respective PubSub subscription in a fan out fashion. Packaging service will send messages to PubSub topic and the shipping and notification service will subscribe to the respective PubSub subscription. Similarly, the shipping service will send the messages to PubSub topic and the order and notification service will subscribe to the respective PubSub subscriptions. Now, CatOut is going through a global expansion with packaging service in Europe and order processing service in US. Because Cloud PubSub is a global service, it ensures that messages get from one location to another, no matter where these services are, with consistent latency and no replication necessary. This is huge for the CatOut team because they can focus on developing the service and leave the global scaling to Cloud PubSub. What do we need to know about publisher and subscriber endpoints? Well, let's see. Publishers can be any application that can make HTTPS requests to googleapis.com. An app engine app, a web service hosted on Google Compute Engine, or any other third-party network. An installed app for desktop or mobile devices, or even a browser. Pull subscribers can also be any application that can make HTTPS requests to googleapis.com. Although push subscribers must be webhook endpoints that can accept post requests over HTTPS. Cloud PubSub is all about service integration. Data is ingested into Cloud PubSub from the front-end services, databases, and other event producers, then received by Cloud Dataflow or other event processing service for deduplication, ordering, and enrichment. From Cloud Dataflow, the event can be sent to multiple targets. It can be used to facilitate end user experiences, like managing notification via Firebase notifications and messaging, or storing end user state in Firestore or managing an IoT device. Other targets could be data warehouse or data lakes like BigQuery and GCS, or event-driven and serverless apps like Cloud Functions, App Engine, and Cloud Run. Bigtable could also be a target for operational databases or just caches. Cloud PubSub has lots of different use cases which can be categorized into two broad buckets. It's great for streaming analytics or ingestion of data into analytical systems. 
It's also great for implementing asynchronous workflows like the order processing application we saw earlier in the CAD out example. Let us know how you use Cloud PubSub in your environments in the comments below. All right, so today we learned what is Cloud PubSub, how it works, and some of the most common use cases. Join us next time to dive deeper and actually build a Cloud PubSub system from scratch. If you liked this video and would like to see more such content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.